they were originally the construction was supposed to start sometime in the 1800s I wouldn't have the exact date but they built two houses three four five and three four six as far as I know there was a three four four then the shell of it was up there before clash and I think three four three was clash they spilled the houses down along and number them hence you get one two three four one two three six in our side which sometimes is very confusing for people wondering how there were so many houses in one area not realizing that it's just high numbers I'll go through now uh, as we call it our terrace but our terrace was on the D side and the other terrace was across the road so the first house there on the north side was the dormitory that's where the, a lot of the railway men used to stay at night say train drivers that would be going out the next morning maybe would stay overnight you had Millers, Mahers, that would be my own family, McMahons, Ashes, Mahers, which would be a cousin of ours, and Redigans would be the last house there. Mahers and Redigans eventually became the new dormitory and to still in CIE hens at the moment. Across the road then, on the, on the south side, yeah, you have Hayslips, Fitzgeralds, Rileys, Carols, Gairns, O'Connors, Lynch's, O'Brien and Carols again. They were connected cousin wise as far as I know. You have then on the left going out, you have what looks like one house which was up to last year the offices of Trilly CI Credit Union. Before that it was converted from a two house into one house for the station master. As far as I know, O'Connor stayed in there, and there might be no tools. With that, that's up for, uh, we'll say, a conjecture at the moment. Across the road, I think this is the order we we'll go by. It anyway, you have Griffins there by the the road, Hurleys, O'Tools, O'Driscolls, Flaherty's, and Greensmiths. Next to it was another house, Garrett's which was, uh, I think he, he actually had a big job in CIE. Eventually that became a store and eventually I think it was knocked. Um, but I wouldn't have many details on that. So this this is the way that the, the houses were built and they were just for the employees of CIE. Unfortunately when the, the husband just died Sometimes the, the, the family had to move out, but that had changed as years came down. Eventually, CIE offered the houses up for sale, and a lot of the, the clients bought the houses, and the, there was an allowance for rent. So, we had a great camaraderie with all the, the kids growing up. My older brothers and sisters would have played with the older brothers and sisters with different houses, and when the, our gang came along, it used to be myself, Joe, Mike, Martina, Anne, you used to play with Liam and David Lynch, and Mary was the younger, and Michael was around, and you do Brian's. And we used to really have uh, CIE as our playground. They didn't know that. The turntable is a great spot, and then you trek up the, the tracks up as far as we could go. We used to play in the wagons, but we used to never see anything, mind you. Don't mind what people say. We used to cross over the road in the other terrace as we used to call them and then we used to often get together with the boys and play Kestens Avenue in a, the old soccer matches which run, used to run all night. Now this uh, Trilly Railway Terrace reunion started with Martina Maher when well, she's O'Brien now and there's actually another O'Brien, Francis O'Brien who's and herself decided to get together and try and get get the family together and go across the road and have a, a night out and an old netter and it was a great success and we had a second one which was a great success again and um, I think the third one has been very very successful as far as I could see maybe the crowd wasn't as big but these days there's an awful lot of stuff on, there's an awful lot of things on, a lot of games on, concerts, you, know, you name it. But I think it's still great to see the connection going down the years. 
Unfortunately, we're missing a few people for the last time. And that is sad. But unfortunately, that's the way life goes on. And possibly the next reunion will be the same thing, but we won't be that depressed about these things. Because this is a happy event. And I think it's nice to pass on these happy thoughts onto the next generation. Maybe the railway has declined a lot in the years, but I think the likes of this keeps people together. Passes on all these uh, memories of people playing together, being together, going out together, you name it. It has been just a fantastic uh, year in year out, I suppose. It's a fantastic history and please God, there'll be another Rebel Tertiary reunion. Maybe I won't be there, maybe I will. Hi, my name is Maurice O'Brien. I'm from 1237 Railway Terrace. It's beginner's luck for me, so here I go. I'm the first one. My mother, Maeve O'Brien, and my father, RIP, is Maurice O'Brien as well. So we all lived in the railway. My dad worked for Bus Aaron for 33 years, and everything went down hunky dory. So we're here tonight for a reunion, and all we got to say is just enjoy yourself and be happy and have a great night. Thank you. Bye bye. My name is Liam Lynch, I'm from 1236 Silver Towers. Liam Law, Liam Law. Liam. <laughs> um, I have two brothers, David and Michael, and sister Mary. And um, great memories from Silver Towers. Uh, James Maher used to beat me up. Ah, liar, liar! <laughs> Marcy O'Brien used to give me the bar to Phoenix and Benny. <laughs> <laughs> Um, really, no, no, no. I had, we had great times. We had um, our own playground. The railway, the railway was our playground. Walking up the tracks on Sunday. Um, yeah, no, playing, no, Sunday closed rooms. <laughs> after, after mass, that is. <laughs> um, playing football on the green. Uh, breaking Mr. Maher's window. No, we had great times. I, I had any kind of this, a great childhood, no complaints. Um, I think we had the best of times. Up the railway, remember? We just up the railway. Pardon? Absolutely. Up the railway. <laughs> we had no laptops or computers or mobile phones, Nothing. and we still got around. We still met each other, spoke to each other. Turntable. <laughs> Don't mention the turntable. And <laughs> Mrs. Mahor is still waiting for her sour milk from the creamery. <laughs> um, James and myself used to go to the creamery to collect sour milk. And the milk was uh, doubly sour by the time we got home. <laughs> it took us about an hour to walk up and down. Um, Remember the time we so was it? Um, the disco inside the, 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 the pictures every Friday night into the pit. The disco inside the, the old building. Handball, handball against, handball against um, Rodigan's wall. No drink, no drink. Call, no drink, no drink. Uh, call the fat man names who drove the train. Uh, <laughs> Um, no, great times, great times, and um, yeah, no complaints, as I say, and uh, we do it all over again. No, I'll hand you back to the. <laughs> oh, and by the way, it was James Maher. It, it was it, it was James Maher who organised all this. <laughs> so, um, thank you very much, and good night. Mary Burns is my name. I'm married to uh, Gerard McMahon, 663 Railway Terrace. Um, I've been coming to Tralee now for uh, about, about 24 years and uh, love coming to Tralee. This is the first um, reunion I've been at and uh, really enjoying it. Great crowd, great um, atmosphere and um, yeah.
Yeah, I think it's a really great idea. Everybody be able to get together and um, meet up and um, tell their stories and hear how um, how everybody's getting on. And uh, I hope to be coming for um, many more years. I'm railway. I'm Kathleen Hurley. I'm from Railway Terrace. And and the credit union is the best anybody should be in. They closed down our one and amalgamated with Tralee, and they shouldn't have done it. Hi, I'm Angela Hurley, and I'm in Railway Terrace. Um, Kathleen's my mother. My father was Michael Hurley in the railway, and I'm the youngest railway child of the or railway child. So. This is Jane. Hi there. <laughs> and I'm going to put you on now to Brendan Hurley, okay? Brendan Hurley is the name. I come from the smaller of the two terraces. We were the posh side of Railway Terrace. We used to throw stones at the other crowd and we kicked the shit out of them. <laughs> Seriously, though, we had a wonderful community in both terraces and we all got on famously. We had some fantastic neighbours and we had a great, great childhood. A lot of children today have videos, they have unbelievable technology, but we had the railway. The railway was our playground. We had wonderful times. We had a big river, we had the trains, we had everything. And as a guy has been a railway child, I would do it all again if I had my choice. We had a wonderful mother and father, wonderful family, wonderful neighbours. Thank you very much. Billy Daly from Castle Street. Uh, I spent my formative years in the Railway Terrace. I arrived first in the Railway Terrace in 1960 when I met my twin, Brendan Hurley, born on the same day, uh, in first class in presentation school. I've been in and out of there ever since, uh, creating trouble sometimes, but most of the time having good crack. Uh, I was also very friendly with the lynch. The lynch in the big terrace and uh, wonderful people, wonderful times and uh, it's great to be here tonight. My name is Michael Griffin. I lived in Railway Terrace all my life. We had great friends and neighbours. Noel Hurley, Railway Terrace. I would like to thank Jacobs and Cadbury's for sending products down to the goods yard in, the, in Tralee because we managed to crack the coat in the wagons and we had a great time because all we were brought up was broken Mariettas. So uh, thank you very much Jacobs and Cadbury's. My name is Mary Greenswood, I'm from 1244 Railway Terrace. I'm living there for the last 50 years with my mother Margaret Greenswood and my father Richard Greenswood who worked in the railway. I have five brothers, three sisters. I love the railway, um, lovely neighbours, lovely friends. Um, that's all I have to say. My, all, my, all my father's family came from railway and we're having a lovely night here. Thank you very much. I want to say hello to everyone from Railway Terrace and I want to say thank you to the guys that organised tonight. So now I'll pass you on to Lee Maher and he's going to say a few words. Thank you. Congratulate James Maher and Liam Lynch on this wonderful occasion, the gathering of Railway Terrace. And I am sad to say that a lot of the old folks that have been here last year are not well. But it's a privilege to see Mrs. Uh, Maher here tonight, Mrs. Hurley Maher. And she is a wonderful person. And everybody here tonight are enjoying themselves. And I thank you all for inviting me. And I love being in your company. Thank you very much. Good night. I'm Bill Fitzgerald. Uh, we've lived in Railway Terrace since the 1950s. Uh, we know some, if not all, of the people here this evening. Uh, a lot of our friends have gone, and a lot of them have died in the meantime. Uh, yes, it, it was uh, a very different... It was a very different place when we grew up. It was very quiet and peaceful and all the places round about were fields. Whereas now it's all built up and uh, it's almost industrial. Schools and warehouses all around. Uh, 
most of my family are still alive, but they weren't able to come this evening because they were here last week for another family event. Uh, we do miss quite a few people who are not here tonight, but I gather there's another reception on in one of the hotels downtown. Uh, our next door neighbours on both sides are missing, so uh, it's a bit. We feel a bit isolated here this evening. Hello, my name is Eileen Greensmith. I was reared in 1244 Railway Terrace, Tralee. My father was Richard Greensmith, better known as Dick, and he worked in the goods store in Tralee. I had very fond memories of growing up in Railway Terrace with the Flarties alongside us, the Driscolls, the Mahars, and the Hurleys, and the Griffins. So all I want to say is Railway Terrace was a lovely place to grow up, and I'm very proud to say I came from there. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Anne Maher, uh, now Brophy, from the Big Terrace, as we were called a long time ago, uh, 346 Railway Terrace. Uh, just, I'm living now in Australia, I'm just home on holidays and it's lovely to meet everybody here tonight. Sadly, so many of the older ones that we know have, have long gone. But it's lovely to see some faces that we grew up with and shared so much, so much time and such lovely, happy memories. Uh, what can I say, I miss the terrace, miss all the people in it. But I just want to say how lovely it is to see everyone again and just to relive some lovely, happy memories. This is my sister Martina, who lives in this village, and I'm always around. So, <laughs> and we just want to thank you all for just coming here tonight, and just wish you all the best. And hopefully, we'll see each other the next time. Okay, thank you. Bye. My name is Lee Maher. Uh, I was born in Railway Towers, 1241. Actually, in the house. Uh, and uh, we moved uh, across the road when I was eight years of age. And uh, eventually, I actually worked on the railway as well. So I'm a real railway man. Worked on the railway for four years from uh, the age of 16 until uh, I was 20. And uh, from there, I have changed my jobs many times. At the moment, uh, we're living in Cahamonin, number 59, and I'm married to Phyllis, my wife. I have five daughters, Siobhan, Georgina, Gillian, Ruth. Did I leave anybody out? <laughs> and, and a son, William. I was counting my daughters first. So I'm delighted to be here, actually, at these reunions. It's a great opportunity and you'd feel so free to uh, approach people and talk with the neighbours and the uh, children that, uh, that you played with b back 40, 50 years ago, 60 years, well, 50 years ago. <laughs> so I wish everybody all the best until our next reunion, whenever it will be. God bless everybody. Hi, I'm uh, Jerry McMahon from uh, 663, not sure what I'm going to say next. Um, we moved into River Terrace in 1959 because my father was a driver and we were probably the last railway family to move into River Terrace, believe it or not. And I was in Railway Terrace from 59 to 87, now living in London and having an interesting night. And and um, we should do this more often. We don't have to make it as elaborate, so, uh, you know, a bit more relaxed. And David Lynch is laughing at me, so <laughs> I'm going to shut up now, and that's the end of that. Uh, anyway, it has been a good night, and uh, I hope everyone here has enjoyed it and <laughs> make it worthwhile. I think these things are important, better than weddings and funerals. Thank you.
I'd like to thank everyone that turned up on the night and made a fantastic night out of it. Uh, a lot of people came from England. My own sister was over from Australia and uh, from Melbourne. It's a long trek, but she loves this meeting with people and the reunions. It, it's just it's great for her. She feels she catches up with a lot of uh, of people that she has missed over the years or maybe hasn't seen for years. Uh, thanks to Oakers Lodge as well and thank John Ryle for all the work he's done putting all this together which is his great patience. God bless him. Thank you.